Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Zemark Fellow here, and today we're coming at you with a video that is a lot different from normal. Instead of a typical like showcase or anything like that video where we're playing around with mod, today we're going to be making something for a mod. This video is going to be showing you how to use L Library to animate attacks for any mod that you choose. Now, this isn't going to be uh, like a motion or how to walk an entity, because Bob Mousy, the creator of Mousy's Mobs, which many of you probably know, has already made a fantastic tutorial on that, and the link to that will be down in the description below, as well as the link to download L Library itself. Now to set up, first you're going to want to go to the Curse Forwards page, and then you're going to want to paste in this snippet of code right here to your build.gradle, and this can be found if you go to the file on your desktop where your mod is located, and you open the build, build file right here, and you just copy and paste that and paste it right here at the end of the file. So you're going to want to save it. And then you're going to want to, an easy way to do this is to type in CMD. And then you're going to type in Gradle W build. And that will go ahead and build your new file and it will automatically install a library for you. Alright, great. Now, we're going to want to have a model for your mob. And to do that, I, like many other people, use the in-game modeler tabula or tabula however you want to say it made by iChan um link to that will be down in the description below and the biggest thing you want with your model is to make sure your rotation points are where they need to be so for instance if i rotate this leg you can see it looks like a regular leg rotating back and forth right however if i were to move this the offset point right here and i'll rotate again see the leg moves a lot farther away than from where the offset point is, and that, of course, does not look like a normal leg rotation. If you just undo that, okay? And the same goes for the head, of course, and the tail. So you're gonna make sure, you're gonna want to make sure that all your rotation points are where they need to be. All right, then you're gonna go ahead and export it as a Java class, and you're gonna put the package for where you want it to be, or whatever you want it to be called, and then you go ahead and export it, and I've already done that, so We'll go ahead and move on and then once you have that you're going to want to drag it into wherever however your um, mod is organized i have all my pertinent classes within the one entity and this is going to be for the gens black yes this mod is going to be a cloud boss finally a cloud boss i know many of you have been wanting a cloud boss in the popular mmos mod but i decided so we're going to put it in here because it is a more updated version so now that we have that we have our model cloud class and the first thing you want to do is change this so you see how it says extends model base. You want to change this to advanced model base because we're going to be using that. This is a class from a library. And then we're going to, want to change all these model renderers. But instead of typing it out manually, an easy way to do that is control R, type in model renderer for what you want to find, an advanced model renderer for what you want to replace, and then replace all. And then it will uh, just have to delete this thing. And I'm using IntelliJ, which is better than Eclipse. So if you're not if you're using Eclipse, switch over to IntelliJ. Trust me, your life will be a lot better. So then we will automatically re-import everything. Good, and now with all of these public advanced model renderer in the name of my pieces, I'm going to add at the bottom of this private model animator. Oops. Animator. There we go. And then we're going to go down to the very bottom where all this top childing is going on. And we're going to animator. We're going to essentialize it was new model animator dot create we don't want this new here silly me there we go that is instantialized perfectly and now we're going to move on to this render and the reason my this only has one line of code for the render is because every other piece of this model is childed to this body a which means if the body moves oops that's not the move if the body moves undo oh no messing everything up okay if move the body as you can see Everything else moves with it, which is what you want in here. I can see like the tail B is childed to the tail A, so I can have some nice tail animations, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to assume that you already have a fairly good grasp of modeling and coding already, which is what you will definitely need to do advanced things such as animating your own mod with a library. Okay, then in this um, render uh, function, we're going to add this line of code. Are these two lines of code so first off the whatever your entity is called so entity cloud is the name of mine i'm gonna make a new variable for it cloud equals 
and then we're going to cast entity the entity parameter right here we're going to cast that to entity cloud like so okay and then we're going to call the animate method which is not created yet but don't worry about this we're going to type in animate and then cloud f f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 and these are all the parameters right here okay great and now we have our set, set rotate angle which automatically generated well that we're going to make our animate method and this is what does as you might have guessed all the animating for the mob that we're creating so public void animate and then we're going to have the interface i animated entity and today is our first parameter and then we're going to do float f float f1 comma float f2 comma float f3 float f4 and float f5 there we go open brackets close brackets and now we're going to make a new instance of our mob so again entity cloud cloud equals entity cloud uh entity and we're gonna get an error right here because i've not made my entity cloud class extend i am made an entity yet we'll get to that in a bit and then we're going to update it so that is going to call and again red underlined for the same reason so that is this line is how the animator knows that it's an animated entity that needs to be updated in when it gets called in the animation class or entity class and then we're going to call to rotation angles and then we're going to put f f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 and cloud all right oops i did not add an okay well i must have typed something wrong there but it should be good to go now and everything should be good except for of course this little red underlined bit right there oh and i almost forgot one more thing we're going to have animator or no just since we, this class is extending events on it already has it so update default pose and this means that all the code that is defined up here setting everything that is going to be the default pose for the mob that we're going to be animating which in my case is cloud okay and now here we're going to have all the code for the whatever animations we're going to do so friends if i want to animate cloud jumping then we're going to have a bunch of code line of code detailing how to make him jump but right now we're going to keep on setting stuff up before because we don't have actually any animation to perform yet so we're going to keep on setting stuff up and the next thing we want to do is go ahead and go over to our set rotation angles method which is going to do all the default like walking and flying animations for your mob if that is the case so and like i said before mousy had a great video on it so i'm not going to go over that because it would take away time from this content and he probably ex could explain it a lot better than i could anyways so at override public void set rotation angles float limb swing float limb swing amount float age in ticks float net head yaw float oops float float head pitch float scale factor and finally entity entity in very good and then i'm just going to call super on that and then type in all this stuff right here which thankfully intellij auto completes for me very good and then we're going to have a first thing we're going to do is reset to the default pose when we're doing this and then what i like to do if i'm just doing a mob is go and look at the creeper model creeper class for some easy examples on uh, values that will the, the default like legs and head and everything will be rotated at and if i was going to do an advanced a library animations for those then i would look at mousey tutorial but for now i'm just going to want to have some stuff that's already typed out for me so i'm just going to go ahead and go over here copy this paste that and of course change the creepers uh, model parts to my model parts 
All right, and I can adjust that as needed. And then here is where the rest of your fancy animating code for any special walking animations or etc. would go. Now, we are going to look at the entity class. And the first thing we're gonna do is implement I animated entity. And I already have some stuff here. This is just pretty much my basic class and stuff that I was going to try and do. But it, um, I was gonna originally try and have Cloud be animated without a library. But then as I kept thinking up ideas for attacks, I realized that it'd just be easier to go ahead and have them in anyway. So I'm just gonna delete all this stuff here because we're not gonna be doing this. Oops, this is not gonna be handled in the entity class, but rather in very custom AI class. So as I said, first thing we want to do is have an implement I am an entity and it's gonna be red because there's a bunch of stuff we have to put in the class for it to be okay with implementing it. And oops, oh, I deleted the boss bar. Now what we're gonna do is have we're going to um, list out all of our animations. So, and I don't need you anymore either. And probably not this random. Okay, so first thing is we're going to have a... It, obviously, it's not going to be animating... Or it's not going to be animating constantly because it needs to have some time to, like, walk and stuff. And if it's animating constantly, it couldn't move. So, we're going to import animation private animation animation equals no animation and that should automatically complete from the an animated entity and then we're going to need a private int animation tick which will handle the timing of all your animation stuff and now we're going to need to create a bunch of animations so public static final animation animation okay so you're going to prefix it with animation you're going to have an all caps just because um, that's the right way to format it animation and so here we're gonna have all of our animations so I want to have one where he goes and hovers up into the clouds and summons a bunch of lightning at you so I'm gonna call the animation hover equals animation dot create and now it needs an integer which will be how long the animation lasts so I don't know exactly how long I want to last so I'm just gonna do 60 so 60 ticks or three seconds and of course these don't need to be exact because you can go ahead and change them around as you need later. Okay. Public static file animation. Animation underscore. How about we have one where he rears up on his hind legs and starts attacking you while standing on two legs. Like in that one picture, Proper Most Pat posted on his Twitter asking to get the most retweeted. Which, if you haven't retweeted that, you definitely should. So it is an amazing picture, not edited at all. Just a screen cap from one of his videos. Okay, and so we're gonna call that animation stand, sure. Equals animation.create. And uh, we'll probably give this around six-ish seconds because we won't have time for it to stand up and then time for him to attack while standing. And how about one more public static final animation animation underscore um poof where this is going to be an animation where he is going to get his purr all f poofed out like he's um sees something like a ghost and his purr is all poofed out and he's like his art back his arts and everything and he looks all scary and the poofing of the fur will actually make you take knockback and send you away from him and so animation oops animation I can spell dot create and this one will be short so how about 30 and of course these values don't have to be the exact value so you can go ahead and mess around them later okay and so now we're going to have oh one more thing so um you might not need this i'm probably not going to have this for cloud but you can also do i'm just gonna put this in anyways because i can think of something cool for him static final animation animation underscore death he's gonna have a death animation equals animation uh 300 sure death animations usually are longer than most attacking ones and now we're gonna have a an array of all of our animations so private static final animation open close brackets and this is gonna be called animations equals 
open curly bracket and we're just going to list all these so animation hover animation stand animation poof and animation death all right now we have that very good and now we're going to have another variable public animation ai current anim and this is going to handle the animation that is currently happening so it does not like try and start another animation while one is already happening okay now we're going to add in some methods that any i animated entity needs to have if it wants to implement that interface so first we're going to have we're going to override this public int get animation tick and that is just going to return animation tick then we're going to have a, a setter method so that was our getter here's our setter public void set animation animation tick int tick um animation tick equals tick okay override public animation get animation return this dot animation that's just going to go ahead and return the animation happening and now we're going to want a we're going to want a couple more methods here so we're going to want at override public void set animation 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 so in our uh, AI classes, that will be the actual animation classes. We're going to set the animation in this classes, in this class rather. If animation equals equals no animation. So if there's no animation currently happening on animation finish, which we will create this dot animation set animation tick zero so it'll start it from a fresh uh counter the animation tick will start from a fresh count of zero and will gradually increment as the animation progresses this dot uh, animation equals animation very good now we have a getter for our array so override public anim animation array get animations return animations all caps there we go that'll return the animation array that we created that had all of our animations listed out and then protected void on animation finish and this is going to be empty because the main class already handles that okay public animation this is only if you have death animation get death animation oops and then we're going to return animation underscore death and yeah i think that just about covers all the oh wait whoops we need one more for their death animation protected void on death ai update okay if our animation so whatever animations happen get animation is not equal to our death animation then we're going to have it called be our death animation so animation handler dot instance so we're getting an instance of the animation handler class and then it is going to send the animation message to our first parameter is the animated entity and then it's going to send the message that you need to perform the death animation oh so let me i forgot to add in the parameter for this method animation animation perfect now we have no more errors and that covers the setup for the animated entity class and model with a library in the next episode we will actually take on some attacks and some actual animations that we go ahead we'll type in the 
attacking code, so the actual code for them that will handle them. And then we're going to go back to the model class and make a nice smooth looking animation that will play as it progresses. So thank you all so much for watching. This is the first time I've ever, ever done such a tutorial on this channel. So definitely leave a like and comment if you want to see more um, tutorials and suggest things that I can do that are not oversaturated in the market already. And that just about wraps everything up. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.